from washing machines to coffee machines. Screens are everywhere. The reason is simple. A graphic interface improves the user experience so much. And we at ST have been driving this revolution by enabling smartphone-like UI on cost-effective microcontrollers. That's why today I'm so excited to talk to you about the STM32U5G9 and STM32U5F9, which embed all resources, IP, and processing power to enable cutting-edge graphics in a solution that decreases additional external memory needs. How is that possible? How do you get better graphics but use less memory? Well, let me tell you about our newest GPU, the Neocom VG GPU. Neocom VG GPU is the first hardware IP to accelerate vector graphics on STM32 MCUs. Developers can now use vector fonts or draw vector graphics on an MCU with an embedded memory without a big performance penalty. And since vector graphics takes a lot less space than bitmaps, it reduces memory requirements. Imagine this. Thanks to Neocom VG GPU, a UI can feature multiple fonts or draw the same asset many times and in various dimensions without overloading the embedded 4 megabyte dual band flash, unlike what happened with bitmaps. I was blown away when I saw that in our internal benchmarks. Rendering a true type phone with a ST vector graphic accelerator is so much faster than without the GPU. Moreover, the new U5G9 and U5F9 feature 3 MB of RAM can store a dual frame buffer. That means you can display rich, modern, and beautiful UI and videos in a large resolution. I can't begin to tell you how thrilled I've been to see industry adopt our new technologies. Thanks to the new STM32U5G9 and STM32U5F9, some of our customers moved to a single chip design because it no longer requires external memory. Additionally, the U5G9 and U5F9 are so easy to implement that engineers can use a simple two-layer PCB when choosing an LQFP100 package. ST even features a two-layer PCB in a working demo of a home appliance HMI, and I saw customers adopt such a design. The world of appliances and industrial applications craves for both UIs and easier implementations. It's amazing to see so many of you finally find the solutions you have been looking for. Finally, depending on your application, you can choose between the U5G9 and U5F9. If you have greater security requirements, the U5G9 features a crypto engine and targets a system level 3 certification. But what about embedded system that needs outrageous amount of flash and computational power? Let's check out our high-performance MCUs, the STM32H7 series. 